If you have ever had vertigo, I am sure you heard of BPPV or ear crystals. The most effective means of treatment for this most common source of vertigo is canalith repositioning maneuvers. However, I still see outdated exercises prescribed in the emergency room and by some healthcare providers. In today's video, I'm gonna show you while you'll want to trade in those old exercises for more effective and proven techniques to get rid of your vertigo quicker. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Amy McMillan. I am a vestibular physical therapist in Northeast Ohio, and I started this channel to empower people who want to learn more about vestibular rehab, how it can help them, and to teach you what you can do to treat dizziness at home. If you like the content and think that others could benefit from what I talk about, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can reach more people and grow this channel. So with that, let's get started. I want to quickly summarize what BPPV is. It is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, meaning when you change positions, you're going to get a quick spinning sensation that could be pretty violent um, that lasts for 60 seconds or less based on position change. You might have some unsteadiness in between those position changes, but it is not constant. It is not hours long. It is 60 seconds or so based on head position, laying down, getting up, um, moving. And that vertigo is caused by displaced otoconia or crystals in the ear that are in the semicircular canals as opposed to in their home, the vestibule. Now for a good visual of BPPV and what happens, I broke out my textbook because I have a ton of them. So what we have here is your vestibular system. You have your vestibule where those little otoconia sit. You have your canals where they cause problems. So um, when you go to bed at night or you're laying flat, those stones, if they're not adhered, can fall into the canal. You get up in the morning, they stay right here. And then whenever you move your head up or down, those stones move and cause temporary positional vertigo. So Brant Daroff exercises were started back in the 80s before we understood the mechanism of how BPPV and otoconia work. These exercises are still prescribed. However, there are more effective means of treating. So I just want to make sure that you get better as quick as possible. So Brant Daroff exercises are a series of movements where basically you'll see in the video that I have playing in the, in the upper corner that you are taking those little crystals that are stuck in the bottom of the canal and you lay down, they move, you wait for 30 seconds, you get back up, they drop back down to the bottom of the canal. And then you turn your head the other way, you fall down, the stones move deeper into the canal, causing vertigo again, you sit up, they drop into the bottom of the canal. Brant Daroff, that protocol asks you to do that to yourself five times in a row, three times a day, where you're just taking those crystals and you're moving them from one side to the other, kind of like a seesaw or a swing. Now, they do work eventually. There are studies showing that there's resolution of vertigo in up to 95% of cases. However, with the caveat that it is very arduous, it is nauseating, it is very symptom provoking, and it takes the longest amount of time to kind of shake up and dissolve those crystals compared to your canalith repositioning maneuvers, which are the Epley and the Samant, or newly the Samant Plus, which I will show you a little later on if you stay tuned. Those canalith repositioning maneuvers are much more effective and resolve your vertigo in one to two visits or days versus two weeks. So I don't know about you, but when I have vertigo or when I'm dizzy, I want something that gets me better the quickest. So when I'm talking about canalith repositioning maneuvers, I am going to assume that you have been to a healthcare provider, you've been diagnosed with BPPV, and you know which ear and which canal. If you don't know which ear or canal, these procedures may not be effective. So there's also the horizontal canal, 
and these maneuvers will not treat the horizontal canal. So I, I do highly suggest that you go to a trained professional to identify which ear is your problem and which canal is your problem before you start these home maneuvers and, and make yourself possibly sick or worse. So with that being said, what are the most effective? I mentioned it before, the modified Epley and newly the Samant Plus. So when you're comparing those maneuvers to the Brandt Daroff, I just wanna cite a couple studies. So when looking at prevention of developing posterior canal BPPV, doing daily Brandt Daroff exercises compared to doing daily Epley exercises, 23% of the patients in that study had resolution of vertigo versus 67 for the Epley group. So clearly there's a, a huge skew in favor of the Epley group. In another study, most people who were prescribed Brandt Daroff exercises had a resolution of dizziness after 30 sessions of treatment. Roughly the average is about 10 days of treatment. In addition to that, about 30% of patients who completed the Brandt Daroff exercises had a recurrence within a year. So it doesn't help prevent BPPV either. So if you have to choose between the Epley and the Samant Plus, the Samant Plus had resolution of vertigo in just two days. And then when comparing that to the Epley, the resolution of vertigo was in 3.3 days. So again, they're very close, but the Samant Plus is actually superior and only two steps to complete it. So when you are looking at the research for the most effective and quickest cure, the winner in this group is the Samant Plus. We'll get you on your feet, get rid of that vertigo and have you steadier, quicker, and back to your dizzy free life. Turn head 45 degrees to the left. Extend right arm, let body fall to the affected side, letting head fall 60 degrees below horizontal. Hold this 60 seconds. Quickly move to the non-affected side, keeping your head down for an additional 60 seconds. You may feel intense vertigo. After this time, sit up. Turn head 45 degrees to the right. Lie down on your back with your head extended over the pillow, 30 degrees. Slowly turn head to the left, 45 degrees. Quickly turn onto the left shoulder with your nose pointed down towards the ground. Keep nose tucked towards armpit as you sit up slowly and then straighten your head. So hopefully you found that helpful. Remember to subscribe if you like today's content. So I know you are wanting more techniques to treat dizziness at home. And remember, I am available for virtual vestibular coaching programs. If you would like me to review your case and, and give you an individualized home wellness vestibular program. I will put that in the comments below on how you can inquire and learn a little bit more about the virtual vestibular program. Until I see you next week, stay healthy, stay steady, and stay strong.